How's it going everyone? I hope you're all well. Back with another Bitcoin update. I think in my last update we were talking about this move up and how it needed to reclaim $70,700, the 786 fib, because that is where we topped out. And if I mark out that highest point over there, to $71,700. We can now create a box between these two points. And so going forward, we know that we need to break this to get this bullish continuation at that point of the break. Let's just pretend it does. This would be a huge double bottom on the four hour time frame. It would also start to appear on the daily. But of course, if we fail to get above this level, then this is considered a lower high, whether we come up to there and then we come down and lose the 200 EMA, that is my main focus, everyone. It's all about the 200 EMA. It was how I was able to call this bottom exactly and suggest to everyone that while we hold 60,700 or 60,800, we will continue up. We came into a level of resistance, reset the market or the trend again, coming back down to the 200 EMA. And yes, over the last uh, day or so, it has been a little bit bipolar, someone in the chat mentioned. So I made a quick update in the chat and that's why I'm bringing one out to you as well. Essentially, we're bouncing off of this level just as we did previously. So we know that this is a key level of support that must hold to get bullish continuation. And so after reaching a very significant resistance being the 786, it's part of the golden pocket. Uh, it's just a key Fibonacci level. And so we reject it falling back to the 200 EMA. Now, if I didn't have the 200 EMA, I'll just say protect our lowest point over here, $60,800. But due to us having these moving trend lines, these moving averages, the 200 EMA taking the last 204 hour periods, creating an average, then I know that we are bullish uh, for the following days and weeks if we are maintaining above this point. Now we have already spent some weeks consolidating, but if we look at where, uh, when we first entered into this zone over here, if we just check how low down the 200 EMA was, look at it all the way down over here with the consolidation, it's caught up all the way to this point. So can we now kiss it as we have done? Yes, we're running into resistances again and it's making us dump to the 200, but as long as it holds, we are looking for an eventual break of this 69K resistance onwards to 70K, which it will of course be resistance. And then we must say again, can't lose the 200 EMA. It's allowed to dump down to it. But as long as it holds, then we will break through because it's all step by step, right? When we get to a new fresh zone that we haven't, we have to reject it regardless of bullish or bearish. Okay, so we came down, this is support, came up, that's resistance, came down, that support went up, broke through this, went to the next resistance, it's the first time, so we reject it, come back to the support, now let's have a go again, can we break through? If so, we're gonna get to the next one and reject it, and then we just need to maintain the 200 EMA, and one day, <laughs> we'll get through that price point of the 786, which is 70, 70.7K uh, 70 and 71.7K. So those are the two levels or two, yeah, specific prices that I need to see Bitcoin reclaiming in order to get this bullish continuation to those targets that I mentioned all the way down over here. I said right down over there, when this correction is done, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but when it is done, and from this price point, I called it um, 84 to 94K, I think it was 90 at as high as 97K, so 84, to 97k that's what we're looking at as targets out of this correction so this setup over here takes time it's boring the altcoins will be going down harsh but it's all to throw you off to make you of course sell and to make you also believe that this is not good enough of a correction to buy on you're waiting for more and then it might never come if it does great opportunity again we need to push through this area for the bullish case and what does that mean it means although the whole video i spent all my time explaining the bullish case i've const constant consistently and constantly said the same thing we must break this key level for it to happen. Without doing so, there is the risk of losing the 200 EMA and returning back down to this low. But again, guys, it would actually all be okay. The only problem is we're under the 200 EMA. So when we do get back up to it, you know, it might bring a rejection. But that's it from me today. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, every everyone. Links down below to get in the Discord. Almost at 100 members now. Thank you for the continued support.